any emergencies? Uh, yeah, we need an ambulance. What happened? Uh, somebody just got shot. A desperate 911 call, and the caller on the line describes a deadly shooting on Christmas Day. Did you see who shot him? Uh, it was one gangster. Some gangsters? Are they still there? There were two cars that came into that alley. They happened to be rival gang members. They drove up to them, stepped out of the car, fired multiple gunshots uh, as well as shotgun rounds at the group. Pedro Turan, a documented gang member, is shot six times. The case goes cold, but over a year and a half later, gang detectives crack the case. And as a former gang informant tells us, this is what gang members have come to expect from the Santa Ana Police Department gang unit. I've seen cases where it's been four or five years, or in my case it was for um, three years after the murder, but they still, they still got us. They still put the pieces together. Um, they're pretty much, they, they pretty much don't stop until they get you. A city once known for its gang violence has seen a record drop in gang homicides. And it's for his innovative approach to gang enforcement, such as creating the county's only gang homicide unit that the Orange County Gang Investigators Association recognized Santa Ana Police Chief Paul Walters on Wednesday. When I first became chief, we were in a time period when uh, gangs swept across this nation. I mean, it was everywhere. It was in small communities. Everyone was in shock because you expect it in large cities, but you don't really expect it in small towns. And there was this phenomena that just swept from coast to coast. But by bringing in someone to handle firearms examinations and forming specialized gang units, Walters and his police department were able to turn the tide on gang crime. The Santa Ana Police Department Gang Homicide Unit has consistently maintained a yearly homicide clearance rate above the FBI's national standard. We all know that when we're on the streets, if a regular police officer stops us, 50-50 chance they're gonna chase us. A gang unit, they're gonna get off the car. They're gonna run, they're gonna do whatever it takes to try to get you. What it boils down to is a strong leadership and he allocates uh, resources, equipment, technology, you name it, uh, he's there to support us. And the gang crimes themselves, they're much more difficult to solve because a regular homicide, usually the victims, you know, I mean, sometimes there can be hidden motives, but they're gonna cooperate. They want the case solved. Gang crimes, not so much. Usually, they don't even want to tell you what happened because they want to go take care of themselves. Definitely, it takes a, a different set of skills and expertise to solve the gang crimes versus regular crimes, and that was why it was, it was so important. Not, homicide detectives are fantastic, but for us, we needed that specialty, and it's, it's paid off.